Saul and Jay Wilson, and they better fight quickly or the linesman will break this up. Wilson tried to get a left in there. Two big customers. Saul with a couple of uppercuts. Jason Wilson with a couple of right bombs. None have connected yet. Oh, there's one. Knocks the bucket off. Now Saul comes back with a couple of undercuts, too. Look. Ground by Pasquale. McNardi for Shipley. Shipley steps out of the corner. Shipley to the net. Back and Shipley scores! Steven Shipley drives the front of the net. And everybody wants to see that from the Edwards and Native. He's got a huge size advantage over other players. And this is sophomore season in the Ontario Hockey League. 6'2", 204 pounds. And Shipley drives the front of the net after the attack win the battle along the boards. Garrett Wilson may have touched it last. He was standing right at the side of the goal, and he may have touched it on the way into the net. We'll try to keep an eye on the Rogers replay to see if we can pick it up. Either way, the attack get the first goal of the hockey game. Here Shipley is going to win the battle along the boards against Shala and drive the front of the net. Saul doesn't know what to do. Oh, great job by Garrett Wilson. Batted it up in rookie scoring. The top rookie scores in the game to Telegan. There's a pass for Wilson. He gets his second of the game. Great goal by Garrett Wilson, and Stephen Shipley will get his second assist. But this one is all Garrett Wilson as he scores his second of the period, 13th of the season, his fourth power play goal of the season. And it comes as 724. Here comes the replay, and Gary, it's a goal scorer's goal. How much time does the puck last on his stick? Not very much at all. Nice wrist shot. Didn't get it clear of the forecheck of Bertnikoff. Now gets some help from 89. Trocheck came right out front. Another chance off the toe of the pad of Pasquale, and they score. Owen Sale get their third. Miles Doan tucks it in, and the attack have a 3 nothing lead. A gaff at the side of the Saginaw goal, and three Owen Sound players had shots on Pasquale, Doan, Blacker, and McGee. And the attack of a 3 0 lead at 7 52. It's only Doan's third goal of the season, banging home a loose puck and getting it under the arm of Pasquale. Take another look at how this play develops. Saginaw's got the puck right now, but it bounces off the side of the net. There's Doan's one chance. Blacker's going to get a backhanded off. And Doan goes right to the front of the net. Puck's still loose. And he slides it past the arm of Pasquale and the defenseman skate into the net. Skellen has three power play goals. At the point. Controlled there by O'Connor. Up the boards for Skellen. Murovich is the fourth forward playing left point. He pinches down and they score to Lagan. No mistake on that stunning pass. A power play goal and Saginaw's on the scoreboard trailing three to one. To Lagan, you can't miss him. He's such a big body in front of the net. 6'3", 185 pounds. And he puts Saginaw on the board with his 17th goal of the season. The fifth on the power play. Take a look at it on the Rogers replay. He's just going to park himself in front of the net, and Saginaw does a good job moving the puck around. And a nice pass there by O'Connor, who was down low to Telegan. Thrown across by Scarbosa. Underwood looking, looking. Low shot. Stager down, they score. It's Trocek with three seconds left in the power play. And it's now 3 2. And follow the bouncing puck. A high. Harmless shot from the point, hit a defenseman in front of the net, and then redirected off a leg right to Trocek, who scores his seventh goal of the season, his third power play marker at 19.02. And it's now a one goal hockey game. Take another look at it on the Rogers replay. This is the point shot that goes off Scarbosa after hitting the Owen Sound defenseman right to Trocek and Stager looked better than the front of the net and now it's two on one the other way. Skellet with Scarbosa and Skellet forgot one thing, the puck. Now he got it ahead, his Scarbosa scores! All alone Scarbosa in front and we're tied 3-3. The two on one still turned into a two on one. As the attack were late coming back, 
Skellett overskated the puck, but Shallow made a nice pass to Scarbosa, who gets his first goal as a member of the Spirit to tie this game up. Take another look at it on the Rogers replay. There's Shalla, who was checked, but nobody picked up Scarbosa in front of the net. Kuzma was intended for Schwartz in front. One of those wingers have got to realize the defenseman has to be covered on the point. They score a shot from that left point by Walsh. Was it touched? It was a great deflection by Jordan Schwartz. And Saginaw has the lead. I don't think that was a shot. I think that was a beautiful pass from the points by Walsh. He saw Schwartz going to the front of the net. And the Saginaw right winger scores his 10th goal of the season and gives Saginaw the lead. Take another look at it on the Rogers replay. Here's the point shot. He sees Schwartz right there. Just a beautiful pass, a beautiful play for the spirit at exactly. Kalagan. Kalagan just throws it out. Blacker's got to hurry. They got to step on him. A skeleton sharp angle. Pan save. Rebound. They score. Put in Shella. Got the rebound. Two quick goals here by the Spirit, and it's 5-3. to three. Saginaw has scored five unanswered goals. No. Now we know there will be. Carol and Ross are going to fight. Ross is a pretty good fighter. Marcus, oh, gets a big uppercut on Ross. He's an overager. He's been in this league a while. Ross lands one. Trying to get his arm loose, trying to get the bucket off. Carroll and they both go to the ice. Jason. Shipley, McNardi, Wilson, Blacker, and Shemitz. Blacker to McNardi. Shot by Wilson. Garrett Wilson gets his hat trick and Owen Sound get a power play goal. And it comes with 12 seconds remaining in the first penalty. So the attack will stay on the power play. A beautiful three way passing play from Blacker down to McNardi to Garrett Wilson in the slot. And the Elmville native scores his third goal of the game, 14th of the season. Let's take a look at it on the Rogers replay. Tick, tack, toe. The puck doesn't last long on anyone's stick. Dean at the boards, put into the corner. Wilson off the stick of Shipley. McNardi scores! Bobby McNardi has tied the game. It's 5-5. Five, five. The leading point getter for the Owen Sound attack ties the game up with his 16th goal of the season, matching his season total with the Kingston Frontenacs last year. And he does it at the third of this season. The pass for Shipley goes right off his stick to McNardi, and what a bullet. Top crossbar. Shallow. Met by Crombeam. Loose puck. To Lagan against Blacker. Two and a half to go. To Lagan with the puck looking for some help. To Lagan across. Drilled wide by O'Donnell. He scores! Oh my goodness. O'Connor shoots the puck wide, but it bounces off the end boards, off Stager's skates, and into the net. And Ryan O'Connor will take it. His third goal of the season, a first as a member of the Saginaw Spirit. He's just going to tee it up and puts it way wide. But Stager didn't handle it. Bounced off the back of the boards, off his skate into the net. The goal. On the breakout to center ice. Carroll couldn't get over the line. shallow has got the empty net. There's the shot. This game is over. Shalla into the empty net to make it seven to five. Josh Shalla has had a pretty good night. Gets his second goal of the game, his 16th of the season, and it seals the Saginaw victory tonight at 1938, the time of the goal. Shalla, along with his two goals, has had two assists, and the attack had struggled to get the puck into the Saginaw end ever since Scott Stager came out of the goal. And it all started with Stager not getting the message from the bench. And Mark Reed's waving dramatically and whistling couldn't attract.